Hey, what's up, Taurus? I just did a Virgo read. I'm going to be doing a Capricorn read next. Welcome to Hard Knocks Love Tarot. This is going to be a love reading, a general love reading for the collective. This is not a personal reading, so not everything you can speak. Please take what does. Kick the rest in the fucking bucket. Please check out the description box for more info about tarot and this channel myself. And let's get started. I have two uh, tarot decks here that I will be using for your read. Yes, this is a love read. Other messages might come through as well. We don't know what spirit wants to tell you. So let's just get right into it for Taurus and Taurus enthusiasts. Okay, that moves across the watchers. You're welcome in this channel as well. All right, let's get started. I do invite my spirit guides as well as your spirit guides, Taurus. On this journey we're taking together, that includes angels, galactic council, ancestors, source, God, the almighty, creator, the most high. All right, let's get it for Taurus. Messages of love, love and light and truth. Knight of Cups, King of Cups. We've got two energies here. Did get a peek of the chariot, but I'm looking for one card and we have the Emperor in reverse. Now the Emperor is the one that rides the chariot. So, Right off the bat, I do feel like these are two different entities. Now, listen, I'm not quite sure which one is yours yet, Taurus, but we also have an emperor here. Okay, let's get three more cards here. Let's get three more cards for Taurus. What is the energy for Taurus, please? Taurus energy. This is going to let me know what's going on here. Give me two more cards for Taurus, please. Two more cards. of swords what the fuck is going on and the two of swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck is the five of swords Taurus what the fuck's going on here I feel like there's a battle happening here or there was or you've come to the decision to fight Or love I do feel like this is your growing process you've made a decision to fight at all costs to win no matter what okay Taurus, you started off with the Knight of Cups, which is wishy-washy, kind of fucked up energy in my opinion. Okay, so that's how spirit lets me know that your energy was janky-wanky. You didn't know what you wanted at this point, okay, in the beginning with this person or in general. Take it how it resonates. But you've matured. You've matured since then, either in a romantic relationship or just in general. You're not looking for that one night stand anymore. You're looking for a relationship, King of Cups. And... At one time, you were kind of a turd. There was no compromising with you. You saw things the right way, and that way was yours, your way. And it was your way, or kick rocks. That was your thing. You knew best for everyone involved. But like I said, you were toured. You were toured into the king of swords. So now you're not trying to argue. You're not trying to persuade or tell people what to do. You're just simply, 
you're working without having to announce it. All right. So like in social media, for example, when people say this, this uh, channel or this page or this, what the fuck is it? This group sucks. Because A, B, and C, and, and 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 this person sucks, and this person sucks, and you're you're all right, you're cool, but I'm out of here. Bye. And then like waiting around for comments, and everyone's like, dude, you didn't have to make a long fucking dramatic exit. You could have just stopped following. That would have been okay. No one doesn't need to hear about your gripes and your everything else. But now, now because you've been perturbed, now you're like, you know what? Oh, this group kind of shitty so i'm just gonna quietly exit okay no drama no announcing your exit just leaving and that's what you're doing you are growing up taurus and you've made the decision to win to win at love at all and any cost you are willing to fight for your right to be lovable is what i'm hearing so let's go ahead and get more info on Taurus in love energies in and around Taurus leaving, coming in, taking how it resonates. Time is fluid. Of course, my readings tend to fall forward about two to six months in. So keep that in mind. But everything is purposeful. And when you find this, you are meant to find this. So let's go ahead and clarify the Knight of Cups along with the Emperor in reverse for Taurus. Whoa, I'm not taking all these. No, I'm going to put them all back. And I am going to go ahead and shuffle a few times. Cheers. I hope you had a wonderful Easter. Thanks again for joining me today. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to like and or subscribe to the channel if this is resonating for you. And also, feel free to leave a comment. A high vibrational one. This is a channel that supports autism awareness. I am an autism mom and I would love, love, love to spend less time at work and more time here at home with my babies. So go ahead and help me out to do that. It would be much appreciated. All right. Emperor in reverse. Let's do it individually. Let's start off with the Knight of Cups because if this is past energy, Taurus, or take it how it resonates, it might be present. But it's coming through as past energy where at one time you just wanted to have a good time with peeps, all right? You weren't looking for anything committal. You weren't even looking to spend the night, all right? Let's see what's going on here. Taurus. Whoa. We have the Four of Swords. And we have the Knight of Cups. Again, in reverse. So you went within. You went within, and what I heard is you got sat the fuck down. Somebody somebody told you what and how, what you're doing and how this was affecting your life and affecting other people. And I do feel like you had an epiphany, Taurus. You had an epiphany, and you realized that you needed to think about your decisions. Just one moment, please. So, you are very responsive to that. You came back to a situation that you had left. I do feel like you acted pretty harshly to a certain degree, to a certain situation, a certain somebody. And you turn back around, somebody that you had control over, you overused your power, okay? And we have balance in reverse at the bottom of the deck. So you are definitely in balance with this emperor in reverse energy. Let's get more. The emperor in reverse. Because I did see a... The chariot, I do believe that you had, uh, you were running away. You were physically uh, or spiritually running away from somebody um, or from a situation. Temper in reverse. Too many cards. Too many cards. Sorry, I'm just, no. I'm just not feeling it. I will know when it comes, right? 
working with spirit. There it is. Page of Cups. I do feel like you ran into somebody. Somebody, or you were... You were really, you over abused, you over abused your power, over abused your power, however you want to say it, with somebody, all right, somebody that was innocent, somebody that was, might have been younger or just thought younger, I'm hearing special needs, if not that, then just somebody that is just very pure at heart, you were harsh with them, you weren't being fair, you hurt somebody's feelings, you fucked up, you were being a jerk, you are being an emperor in reverse, you were being a complete asshole, and this person didn't deserve it. Okay, but you did come to a realization. You do understand what you did and why it was wrong, and you do want to change that. All right, sorry, Taurus, I keep getting interrupted. It's all good. All right, so you definitely came up. You rose up. You evolved. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Now you're the king of cups. Now you want a relationship. Bam, renewal. Okay, reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness. Time to head in a new direction. Clarity on your life purpose. In your heart, you know what to do. So that's what happened, man. At the bottom of the deck is seven of cups. You made a choice. You stopped procrastinating, overanalyzing. You made a clear decision on what you actually wanted, and you moved forward, okay? Before, you had way too many options. You might have been suffering from some addictions, sex addiction, I'm hearing, or otherwise, but you have grown past that. You have. You are now the King of Cups and the King of Swords. What happened here with the King of Swords, please? Too many cards. Ego and Five of Pentacles. Ego. The illusion of being trapped. Accept responsibility for your situation. And then make choices that support your path to happiness, addictions, or unhealthy habits. And that's what you get. You let go of a lot of negative ego. Okay? I know people say all the time that any type of ego is bad. That's bullshit. We have ego for a reason. To use discernment. There's a lot of reasons for ego. It is needed and it is healthy to have a healthy amount of it. In this case, you did not. You had an unhealthy amount of ego. You were in an illusion. Again, talking about addictions and unhealthy habits. But with your king of swords energy here, you snapped the fuck out of it. You did. Here is another five of swords. You are... I'm a little bit, I don't blow smoke up my viewers' assholes, okay? I keep it real here. Hard knocks. Low tape. Hard knock. Not soft knocks. I do feel, Taurus, that you've come a long way, yes. At the same time. You just need to be careful, okay? You need to be careful of people that might be taking advantage of this new you. There's a real need for balance here. Now you might be going the opposite spectrum. And you might be being taken advantage of because you are so committed to being in this high vibe energy. You're so committed to changing your reputation that you might be not noticing things. Whereas before, you're paranoid because you were doing some shady shit. Now, it's like, you might have some peeps trying to test you out. You know what I'm saying? Trying to fuck with your good frequency here. 
but you have made the decision to win at all costs. So there's a battle here. There's a battle because somebody doesn't like that you've changed your ways. Somebody doesn't like that you've changed your ways. Hmm. Let's get more. Show me the cards. Give me more information on this situation, please. And thank you. My spirit guides. Too many cards. Clear answer, please. Nope. Page of Swords wanted to come out. What else? Queen of Wands in reverse. Hmm. You might be getting some fucked up energies trying to test your commitment to love, your commitment to this new energy coming through your private messenger, social media of any kind, okay? Or your a text message. You're being challenged. That's what happens when someone raises their energy, raises their frequency, raises their light, raises their light energy, they get attacked. Judgment in reverse. Five of cups. Don't fall for this shit. Do not fall for this shit. This person's trying to lower your vibe. There's somebody here that's going to try to lower your vibe. They're going to try to lie to you. They're going to try to take from you your energy and energy vampire, okay? They're going to say they want to come back and see how you've been, catch up or whatever, but they just want to make you feel like shit. They want you to feel some type of regret for leaving them, for leaving something behind that no longer is serving your best good leaving this fucked up attitude behind because when you change to this significant amount when you change this profoundly and i do feel like you have uh lots of things happen you change your circle that pisses people off you raise your frequency that pisses people off why because you're not there anymore because they think that you think you're better because you are doing better and they're not because they're jealous of you it's a lot of different things Okay, but this person is trying to make it sound like they're proud of you, that they've seen the new you, they just want to see how you're doing. It's fucking lies. They want, they're an energy vampire. They want to take from you. They want you to be back in that poor me, spilled milk, victim mentality. The mentality that you had, which is the reason why you were so fucking over amped of getting what you want and needed because, you know, you had been through some shit. Balance is needed here. Big time. Let's just, okay. Thank you, sir. Last card is the Three of Cups in reverse. Let's get another one. I can't leave it like that. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. The Two of Cups in reverse. I do feel like this is just a warning. Spirit wants to let you know that there are people that are going to be coming towards you uh, that are going to try to get your attention, try to get your love. Okay? Um, male or female, it doesn't matter. They are going to try to distract you. They might offer you sex. They might offer you money. They might offer you um, I'm hearing they might offer you a connection like, you know, let me introduce you so that you can do, you know, fill in the blank, whatever it is that you desire to do with your life. They, you know, they got the hookup, right? They can help you out. I am also seeing and feeling like somebody might want to um, get you pregnant or you um, Try to get you to get them pregnant, either or. But look, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. We have the Three of Cups in reverse. We have the Judgment card in reverse. We have the Five of Cups in the upright. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Two of Cups in reverse. And we have the Three of Swords, which is heartache, heartbreak, and jealousy. It's time to protect your energy. It's time to put your foot down. It's time to get balance. Put your foot down in a good way to protect where what you have worked so hard for. You've come a long way, Taurus. You've come a long way, and you didn't come a long way to get fooled and to be heartbroken again. You've come a long way to change your ways. You've come a long way to open. You've opened your heart chakra. <laughs> that doesn't mean you're going to uh, expose yourself to you know whatever snakes uh, that, that aren't wanting to do the same that you did. Sorry. And do the work. They don't want to do the work. Doing the work is looking in the fucking mirror. 
is being alone, knowing that you are responsible for all of your actions, all of your thoughts, your whole life. I don't care who did what to you. I don't care what has happened in your life. You are fucking responsible for it, period. And that's a huge accomplishment to take that responsibility for yourself and also others. It looks like, you know, you were a real douchebag. And now you're you're willing and able to look within and to make those changes. And you are. You're walking the walk. You're not just talking. And you're pissing people off. Keep walking. Fuck them. You didn't walk this far just to fall for some bullshit, fucked up energy that wants to put you right back on being a victim. Nay, nay. Taurus, that has been your read. Please like and subscribe. If any of this resonated, I'll see you in the next one. I'm so proud of you. Peace.